This is Hooked Up. When I was a kid, we used to get out and eat the oysters. Oh, yeah? Shuck them, pop them in your mouth. Hey, tell me about this pot of meat. I heard, I heard when you go fishing, you're, you're a pot of meat and rich cracker kind of guy. <laughs> what, what the hell is that all about? Pot of meat. What that's is that? The, uh, that's the Lord's caviar. I see. Lord's caviar. There he is. You got a fish? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. See that? That's what you get with potty meat. You get this little See? wink wink. You start talking about potty meat. Get that little wink wink. That's there a keeper. Go. A that's trout. 12 That's inches. a good one. That's lunch? Now what you eating? I'll eat that. <laughs> that's good enough. That's hey, a start. Man. That's a start. We got the skunk off. See that? We ready now. Catherine Bigelow or Spike Lee? I would have to say uh, Catherine Bigelow. Uh, we had a great time working together, and I feel like the Hurt Locker was a huge growing experience for me as an actor. When you first coming up, was there an actor or a director or someone who gave you a great piece of advice that you know you really kind of? Uh, more, I always ask for advice, yeah. and most people go like, All right, "Stay off drugs." <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Morgan Freeman gave me the best advice anybody could ask for. We were doing Million Dollar Baby, and um, I went up to him and I was like, "Yo, you know, I got offered this movie where I got offered a bucket of money, and." I was offered this play where they were offering me 400 bucks a week, right. which is a little coffee cup yeah. with money. So I went to him and I was like, what should I do? And he said, do the play. He said, work on your craft, mm -hmm. and when Hollywood wants you, they'll come get you. And when they come get you, they'll pay for it. Right. It's like, wow, that's, I didn't expect to hear him say that. You know? <laughs> you say, shut up, Morgan, I'll make money. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Do it, old man. <laughs> but I did the play and it worked out for me. You've worked with a lot of different directors, but it comes to mind as Catherine Bigelow and also um, yeah. the guy who talks to chairs, uh, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, is it, how is it working with, with, with you know, these directors that are just, just amazing directors? What makes them better than uh, other people? Well, it's really different. Clint has a way of giving you confidence that no one has been able to since your high school football coach. On my first day on set with Clint, we were rehearsing the scene, and that's the scene where Michael Pena and I make fun of Hillary Swank. Right. So we're rehearsing and he was like, cut, all right, that's it, let's turn around. So I was like, yo, can we can we do another one? So he's like, all right, everybody take a break. I'm like, oh man, I'm about to get fired, <laughs> right? So he calls me over, he's like, Anthony, you know, I watch your tape, you're good, you're a good actor. I said, thanks. He was like, so if you're bad, it's because of me. I was like, wow, you know? I was like, okay, all right, cool. And after that, I was golden. And uh, with Catherine, Catherine just gives you freedom to go. Right. Like she lets you bring it in. That's when once you once she feels you've got it, she hones into that. Because gotcha. um, with her, it's more so about the landscape and the feel. So she lets you develop the character. Yeah, definitely. And she supports you in that. Uh -huh. So if you come in with ideas, she'll let you play with them. And how, how much of that happens before you start shooting? That happens. <laughs> Five minutes before you. <laughs> I have an idea. All right, roll sound. Whoa. So it all depends. I mean, on uh, Hurt Locker, we had a really. It was so outrageous the whole situation yeah. being in uh, Jordan right across from the uh, Iraqi border and shooting it the way we did. It was pretty much fly by the seat of your pants, try to make it work as you go. Um, so. Now, those films, when, when you're in the moment, I mean, do you know you're working on something that's gonna be that great, that's gonna be sort of Oscar worthy? Or no. You, no idea. Every movie starts off with everybody thinking it's gonna be the best movie right. of that year. But there's so many people in the kitchen, you know, yeah. it's like, you have the performance by the actor and the director, that's when the editor, that's when the producers, that when the studio put in their notes. So by the time you see the movie, it's going through seven different steps right. from just writing the script. Abraham Lincoln or Nelson Mandela? After seeing the Lincoln movie, I would definitely have to say Nelson Mandela. <laughs> you want me to show you how to eat it? See, this just starts out bad. <laughs> it's all just uh, mechanically separated, chicken, beef, anything that starts out mechanically separated, I don't think you should eat. I grew up on this stuff. If it wasn't for potty meat, there would be no Anthony Mack. Yeah, I, I did See? too, then I got a job. <laughs> eat all that funny French stuff, you can definitely eat this. <laughs> come on, I'm your guest, I you have, have to try it. Oh, come man, on, come me. on. <laughs> you're killing me. Cheers. Wow, over I came down to New Orleans and they fed me potty meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to make that. <laughs> You want to open a can, you can make it for it yourself. I just need the mechanical separator. <laughs> Come on, fish. Is that a fish turnover right there? Something up there. Way up, see it? Oh, yeah, I got him, yeah. 
See him tailing up there? What's that look like? He's got a huge black drum tailing right here, man. Be spooked. Never saw so many spooked fish. Yep, Sam. Something just spooked out of here. These are female fish. They're very temperamental. Talk, talk conditions. So, strike. Greg, this is your hole, right? This is your uh, your choice of holes, huh? Look around. The weather sucks. <laughs> so, how long have you been a guide? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Owens or Hussein Bolt, I would have to say uh, Jesse Owens, just for the simple fact of what he did at that time was kind of remarkable, going into Germany and winning four gold medals and breaking the world records. Um, but Hussein Bolt is a freak of nature and we'll probably never see anything like him again. How does it feel to be so wanted right now? I mean, you know, you got four films I think you're working on, I heard. Yeah, I have uh, Or seven, like, I heard. <laughs> How many? Twenty? <laughs> I have a few that I'm working on, uh, you know, trying to shuffle the dates and make them work. Mm -hmm. And a few I'm trying to uh, produce and put together. But, it, I mean, it's, it's unusual. I live here in New Orleans, right. so the idea of Hollywood and everything that goes on there is still foreign to me, right. and I like to keep it that way because I like to do right. stuff like this. But you never thought you had to move to L.A.? No. no, no. I'm deathly afraid of L.A. Really? And That's every time right. I go to L.A., because it's not real. It's not reality, you know? It's like, it, there's, you can't do this in L.A. You can't chill out and be a regular guy in L.A. You mean you can't sit here with three cameras? Three cameras! <laughs> 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 really? You can't eat potty meat. I look for meat. it. I find cannot it. find <laughs> potted meat in L.A. <laughs> Jesse Owens, that's the project you, you want to get made. That's, I had a call about it yesterday. We're in the process now of, you know, acquiring the rights to all the information we right. need and getting a script together. I mean, I feel like... Jesse Owens saved the free world. Mm -hmm. You know, what he did in Germany, yeah. no one has ever been able to, you know, the closest thing you can think of is Muhammad Ali. And, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's remarkable that a movie hasn't been made about him. Yeah, I mean, you've seen a lot, you see a lot of, you know, docs and stuff like that. Right, about life. right, yeah. but, you know, it's like if you can do a movie about Seabiscuit, you can do a movie about Jesse Owens. <laughs> oh, <something. laughs> We're trying to catch fish. We need to catch fish, right? Give me These guys don't want to play. They heard times and times. They heard. Like I'm playing coy. Go look for trout. <laughs> I'm lucky with the trout. You get behind here and mix it up every now and then? Every time I'm in Brooklyn, that's what I do. <laughs> I opened it because all my friends own bars, and I wanted to be a bartender, but I knew if I worked for one of them, I would be fired immediately because right. I'm not good at it. Don't miss any of my adventures. Hit the subscribe button.